All right, today we are making one of our all-time favorite recipes. Um, we are big Mexican food fans in this house, and this recipe is so simple, we eat it probably at least once a week. Um, it was so easy and delicious. So, um, I don't really know what it's called, but there's only two ingredients to make this. And for me, the less ingredients that we have, the better, primarily because I hate taking a long time to make dinner. Oh, thank you. Um, so, less is better for me. So, Cam, are you gonna help me? Do you know what we're making? So we're making our version of Mexican chicken, okay? So I have a little more, it was about a pound and a quarter of chicken breast, so it was three chicken breasts um, that I cut up, okay, in half. I just cut them in half. You don't have to cut them, you could leave them whole if you wanted, but um, these are not frozen either, um, so. I am going to put these in. You're gonna help me with the next step. So our chicken's going in to, oh, let me show you what we're putting it into. Crock pot. So this is our savior sometimes. Um, okay, oh, now I got to wash your hands off. Okay, so we're putting our chicken in our crock pot. We're just doing like one layer along the bottom. It'll be covered. And then the next step is what we're putting on top. Um, the second ingredient, salsa verde, otherwise known as, what color of salsa is this? It's green. It is? Yeah, so it's green salsa. Or um, if you found like tomatilla salsa, you could use that too. Um, but that's all we're putting on. So this is a 16 ounce jar of salsa verde and we have Cam put it on. We're gonna put a little more than half on top. Can you pour this on for us, Cam? Uh -huh. Thank you. <laughs> Whoa, all right, so we're gonna pour it all over our chicken. Let's see. Oh, actually we don't even need, I guess we only need a half. So we're gonna do about eight, eight ounces. So we still have about half left in our jar. But we have completely, pretty much, um, move it around a little bit, covered our chicken, okay? Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, so that's it. And we are going to cook it on um, low for four hours. And yeah. it is going to kind of get shredded. Um, not like super shredded, but it, like you could still have big chunks, but it is going to be perfect for your meal tonight. So we will see you back here in four hours. Bye. Bye, -bye. See you in four hours. Okay, so we are back. It has been four hours and I actually did, um, I ended up doing three hours on low and one hour on high. So the last hour I ended up turning up a little bit because I, when I tested it with my fork, um, wasn't quite where I wanted it. So you will see, this is what it looks like. I've already kind of stuck my fork in. Um, you can see that when you do that, the chicken kind of pulls apart uh, and that's what you want. So that's kind of the consistency that you're going for. It's fork tender, it breaks off. I promise you it'll be super juicy and you will love it. Um, so up next, we're gonna show you what we do with our chicken. <laughs> okay, we're back. It's been about four hours and our chicken is ready. You saw it in the crock pot. So I now have it in the bowl, uh, ready to go. So this chicken is super versatile. You will see, it really is, isn't it, Cam? Mm. Yeah, it sure is. So this is what it looks like um, once I've taken it out and I shred it. I use two forks and kind of pull it apart. And I do leave big chunks too. Um, and I forgot to mention when we use the salsa verde, remember, all we did for this was two ingredients, right? What was it? What was one ingredient? Two ingredients. Mm -hmm. Two. What was the first ingredient? Chicken. We put chicken in the crock pot. What was the second ingredient? Remember this? What was this? The chicken. It was green salsa. So this is what we put on top. And this is all that we needed to put on top to make this delicious chicken. And you literally can do this in under one minute. Get your chicken prepped. Yeah. Why I make a pancake? <laughs> so, our chicken's done. I'm gonna make mine as a salad. Why I always put a little bit. Well, we can do that another time. I put a little bit of lettuce in the bottom of my bowl, but you can use this chicken to make tacos. You can make enchiladas. You can, what else? You could put it in a quesadilla. You could put it in a burrito. You could just put it in a bowl, like Kirk like says, with just like beans and chicken and just like the toppings. But I'm making a salad. So, I will show you real quick how delicious it is and how it takes hey. literally no time for us to make. Yeah, so. We're making pancakes. <laughs> 
So for I always put my cold ingredients on top, so I do a little bit of corn. Let me make a pancake. Maybe later, and I do some beans. And if you do black beans in a can, they're gonna be kind of like syrupy, so you need to rinse them before you put them on anything. And then I do a little bit of cheese. I do it too. Okay, you wanna put some of this on? Mm -hmm. Okay, and then I always put my cold stuff on first, so I do a little bit of the green salsa. When I make a salad, I use the salsa as my dressing, so I don't need anything else. And if you need to add heat, mm -hmm. then this is when you add it. You don't wanna add it in your crock pot because you could totally ruin your entire meal if it ends up being too spicy. And then um, instead of sour cream, we use Greek yogurt. It's a great substitution for sour cream. So I just like to do like a dollop or two of that. And now I'm putting on my chicken on top. How's that look? That's good, I think that's plenty of cheese, thanks. All right, here's my juicy, juicy chicken. And when I did put this back into the bowl, I did spoon out some of the um, salsa that was in the crock pot to help keep it moist while it was sitting here. And then my favorite thing ever, I do crushed chips on top to get a little bit of crunch. And then I top it with a little bit more um, taco sauce because we like things saucy around here. Right, Cam? Right. I'm All right. Eating the cheese. So Cam's eating the cheese, but that's it. So the it's super simple to make two ingredients: your chicken and your green salsa, your salsa verde, or your tomatilla salsa. Cook it for about four hours, and um, you will have amazing, delicious chicken. All right. Thank you. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. Bye.